morning y'all happy monday let's see if Woo. morning y'all happy monday i just spent the last two days in bed if you guys saw the last vlog or follow me on instagram i scratched my eye with a mascara wand really bad in the middle of filming something and i ended up like having a corneal abrasion it was so bad there was like two cuts it was the most painful thing ever good news is it is one of the most painful things ever bad news is you no that's the bad no bad news is it's one of the most painful things ever good news is that it heals pretty quickly so i woke up this morning feeling pretty normal like my body feels kind of run down from like all the stuff i was doing but um my eye feels better so anyways i'm gonna go on a nice little walk this morning and get some starbucks i need coffee really bad i need to get back into the swing of things i literally have been in my dark room for the past 48 hours so I need to like get back in the swing of things today. It's Monday. I leave for Fort Worth in New York on Friday. A week from today is my live show, which is crazy actually. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Um, I'm kind of starting to get nervous, a little update, but yeah, I'm really excited. I need to go on a little podcast, hot girl walk to get into like the swing of things this week. Um, and then I have Pilates later, I have like a lunch thing later. And I'm just getting work done, doing laundry. It's going to be a nice little productive Monday, getting back into the swing of things after I've been in a dark room for two days. So, love that. Don't ever do what I did. That was the worst experience of my life. And it happened at my sip and shop. Anyways, I'm giving you guys a little update on the skincare that I've been using. This video is sponsored by Rotor. So this is customized prescription skincare, which I am such a big fan of because it's made like personalized to you. It's dermatologist design, there's a free 10 minute online visit, which I love because getting me to go to another appointment, like I don't want to. If I can do it from my home, that's amazing. So it's custom prescription treatment tailored to your goals and prescribed and you just get confidence in your skin. It really helps clears it up. If you're prescribed, get your first month of custom prescription treatment plus Roderm's hydrating cleanser and protecting SPF lotion for $20 off. Go to roderm.com forward slash Kinsey. Again, that is roderm.com slash Kinsey. Shipping is free and you'll get free and unlimited follow-ups with your healthcare provider to support you throughout your skincare journey. So I just finished my skincare and I've lost everything else that I needed. Um, okay, I need to go do laundry and then record this week's intro and outro of the podcast. Because my neck, oh my god. Like, how did that even happen? I've literally been laying about this. So embarrassing. Mr. Handsome Fitzy Man. We've been having really great quality time together the past two days. He has never been nicer to me. I think he felt bad. Coco, you were nice kind of too, I think. This is terrible. Don't do this. But this all right, I'm finally sharing my little goodie bag they gave me from my pop-up this weekend. I don't know how to pronounce this, and I don't want to sound stupid, but I'm really excited because I've seen this all over Dallas. So these are the Cool and Glow towelettes, um, and then this is, okay, like, come on, collagen eye mask. I actually just ran out of eye masks, and I needed more, so I'm very excited. We have these, like, Tone and Sculpt little resistance bands, which I actually am really excited for because I want to start putting resistance bands on when I walk the trail. And then little hair ties, like so cute. I got a bunch of GH pieces, this really pretty necklace, um, this bracelet. Okay, like this is very similar to the one that I wear every day, but I can stack them all. Like that's so cute. I'm actually really into bracelets these days. Some more hoops, some cute earrings, a really cute necklace. I'm going to put this up in my little case, but like so cute. So this is from Gratefully Helena. I mean like literally the cutest thing ever. I love Oh, and then I have another thing, sorry. Oh, I also, so this is from Caffeinated Beauty Bar, which is a really cute little shop. And they gave me this big tee, which is actually probably what I should be wearing over my workout stuff right now, but because it's actually like really light. Super cute, love that. Um, so thank you guys, everyone. Love this, go support Dallas-based businesses. Um, but like, these are just the cutest thing ever. I love them. Okay, this actually feels a lot better. Just having something like oversized, but I also wanted to show you. I got these Alexander Wang pants. I might be wearing these to the live show. I haven't decided yet. I have to try all this on on like Wednesday. I have probably like four or five different orders for a four day trip to New York. Different outfits, um, but I haven't been able to try these on yet. They're super cute. I'll link them. I got them on Revolve, the little Alexander Wang patch, um, which I love. We're actually adding patches to the oak kind stuff. Actually, those should get here today, hopefully. So. Anyways, I have these, and then I have a bunch of merch that we're giving the girls, all my best friends from Dallas who are coming on the trip to 
New York for the live show. So I'm very exciting. I need to put all this away soon. Get my life back in order. And just really get to work here. All right, I've changed into more weather um, fitting attire. I actually think I'm gonna buy a new MacBook. I've been thinking about it for a while. Look at this on my MacBook. This line, as you can see, it's not great. Um, I don't wanna wait until I like have to get a new computer. So I kind of just want to get one now, but I want to get like the most storage. It is oh my god, a fire truck just drove by. It was so loud. Um, like what laptop should I be getting? I'm probably gonna buy it before I even post this video, so like maybe I shouldn't. Um, but I do need. Do I want a 14 inch? I think I want a 14 inch. 16 inches are like really big. Okay, I think I'm gonna get the MacBook Pro 14 inch. So anyways, I'm gonna get a new computer that's gonna come in a month, but honestly, I'll be grateful that I did it now. I just figure it out because I need one. Like, I've had this laptop since college, which is not that long ago, but I edit on it. I feel like I wear down laptops pretty quickly, but I've had it for a few years. Like, I've had it, I wanna say my junior year of college. So that was like four years ago, almost three years ago. How old am I? This just might be the most exciting week the podcast has had since it launched three weeks ago. Not three weeks ago, three years ago. Uh All right, it is now 2.30. I have showered. I feel so clean and good. I went to Hot Pilates and then I got lunch with Jenna, who's the founder of Finish. It's just so nice being surrounded by women who are older than me, who like know a lot more than me, that are entrepreneurs and like go-getters. I think that's like the biggest pro. One of the biggest pros of Dallas for me is that while like maybe there's not a ton of people my age who are doing what I'm doing, there's a lot of people who are like 10 years older than me that have a lot more wisdom that I should be going to for more things and like they're just like, so like willing to give, if that makes sense. I mean, obviously like a lot of things are mutually beneficial in the world, but it's just nice being around people who are older than me and inspire me and are just like cool. Anyways, I'm back from lunch and Pilates, showered, I'm in my robe, I have my oil like sinking into my skin. I'm actually gonna like give you guys a little house tour because it needs to be fixed like my bedding my bed is just tragic right now I need to get new pillows for my bed um, those I got rid of months ago because um, Soph had a bloody nose on them when she slept over so I need to get new pillow replacements I love these ones from Target and then I'll take you guys downstairs because I have questions okay the closet is obviously pretty much done Actually, I'll take y'all in there really quickly. Here is the closet space. I have this up here to do my makeup on, which has made it really easy. I wanna get a fun little rug in here to make it cozy, like maybe like pink and white checkered, something fun, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. I need to replace that light, and then this room is like completely done. These are just like outfits that I wanna wear, some, you know, whatever. There's, there's a method to this, but it doesn't matter. So down here, I do wanna replace this art with something. I just have a bunch of bags here that I need to take upstairs, but um, I just have random little trinkets on here and I do want to replace the art. I've just had it forever, but I, I'm, I'm not as like urgent to do that because it's not really bothering me. Um, then you come over here. This coffee table is going to be gone this week. My couch is CB2, the drapes, which I could change into like a beige. The only thing is like this, that piece of art in there actually brings in the cool tones. It just looks weird on camera. I need to get a rug and I did order a new rug. So we'll see how I like that. And I need to get new stuff for the coffee table. I kind of want to get a really thin table for underneath the TV. We'll see. I got this chair from Target. I feel like once the rug comes, everything will come together. I really, really want to, I mean, I'm not going to replace the table, honestly, just because it's so heavy and I don't mind the table as much. I would like a wooden table at this point, but like I'll just get over it. Um, however, I need all new chairs. I hate these ghost chairs. They're so like 2018. I need to be done with them, but I just can't decide what chairs I want. And I need to order them like sooner rather than later, just because obviously everything's taking so long. So that's the main thing. What chairs should I get? What should I do with a coffee table? Should I get a little entry table, like pit, like little um, entry? What am I saying? Like a little table here underneath the TV. I need y'all's input, please let me know. Feeling a little bit anxious, so I'm gonna have the Array Calm Pills. I haven't tried these in a long time. This is a new bottle of them. I think since like 2020, everyone raves about Array. Bloat pills specifically, but anyways, I'm just gonna take two pills and I'll let you guys know how I feel. Here we go, guys. Really easy, that reminds me, I really need to get my vitamins organized. 
So for the next probably 40 minutes, I'm gonna episode prep. Just got a ton of work done. Now it is time for me to actually get ready. What do y'all play in your house all the time? I always have Chris Stapleton on. Okay, I'm gonna make a little bit of coffee because I'm actually exhausted. I have my cute little Chamberlain coffee cup. Oh my God. Doing heated workouts in Texas heat in the summer, it just like takes you out. Like I'm just so tired. There we go. So I'm in my closet. I have my coffee. I'm gonna change into what I think I'm wearing. I'm going to the Rangers game tonight with my dad. By the way, I think I said that the Rangers invited us in. I'm very excited. Um, I grew up going to games with my dad, so I feel cool now that I can take him, you know? Anyways, I'm gonna do a little haul. First thing, I got these jeans. They're like low-waisted and super baggy, and I think they're like perfect. Are they, oh wait, they're the lioness ones. Okay, I actually love this cut in, oh, medium. No, I love it in a small. I don't know why I got a medium, maybe it'll work. They're just really baggy pants, and I think this would be super cute with like this and just a tank top and sneakers for a, bas or a baseball game, what am I saying? Um, so I'm gonna try these on and then we'll do the rest of it because I got the cutest, literally the cutest dress I think I've ever purchased. I'm telling you in the summer, I live by Princess Polly, by the way, obviously I bought this my own money, not sponsored, obviously, but anyways, gonna give you all a little haul, I'll be right back. Alright, so the first thing I have are these jeans, they're lioness pants and I have them in different colors. I will say I think the other colors are like more flattering, but they're still like really cool baggy pants and they look good with heels i'm wearing little sneakers today this is just what i'm wearing to the rangers game but it's still really casual and just like cozy and it feels like cool girl going to a baseball game you know what i mean next thing i have is this dress which i think is the prettiest dress i've ever owned in my life princess polly so cute i got it in a size six um let me make sure yeah size six i mean just like the cutest dress i live in their dresses in the summer because it is so hot, like I can't wear anything else. Um, and I just like cannot recommend enough. Incredible, can't wait to wear that. I also got this just like simple white dress, which again, I will be wearing a ton this summer. I got it in a size six. This looks a little bit like bigger though. I think I should have gone size down, but just like a simple go-to white dress. I love this. I also got this pink top, this like little corset thing. I feel like these are so in. Next thing I got is just this black like baby doll tank top and these are just so classic. I feel like you can really never go wrong with them. Oh, there we go. Okay, I'm like out of hangers now. Okay, I got this matching green set. Um, I'm going to New York this weekend obviously so I just needed options. I'll try this on and see how I like it. Um, I, if my new shoes were in, my new sneakers were in, I would love it but I don't know when they're coming in. It's taken literally weeks. I also got just this black like bando top. I don't love strapless things. I feel like they fall a lot, but I feel like this might be fine. And then also I got this set, which like I'm still really iffy on. I almost was like going to immediately return it, but I feel like I'm gonna end up really liking it. It's a skirt with a slit. It's super light, which is what I always need. And the top is just like super lightweight again. Matching set, like can't go wrong, especially when I have a tan. It'll look a lot better. So that is my haul for today. I'm gonna go do a little bit of makeup. I'm gonna show you guys my fave products that I've been using. Um, I'm a little bit scarred and terrified to put makeup on now that I uh, gave myself a corneal abrasion, so. Okay, I'm just gonna show you the um, products that I've been loving because the lighting was really rough to show you how I did my makeup. This blush from Dior, I only started using this weekend and I think it's like my number one holy grail product. I know this has been all over TikTok. I finally got it. It's the Dior Backstage Rosy Glow in pink. It like lifts your cheeks. I don't know how else to describe it other than it is incredible, like literally incredible. Then I've been going back to an OG, the NARS Laguna bronzer. I've been loving it. I mean, we all use this in what, 2012? And um, now I just, I don't know, I revisited it and I don't know why I ever left. Loved this bronzer. This concealer, I actually really like. I'm really picky with concealers and I feel like I've never found the perfect under eye concealer. But I do really like this one. It's really easy and it definitely like makes me look a little more awake. Um, I obviously love all things Rare Beauty. The Rare Beauty Liquid Blush, I'm obsessed with. This isn't happy. This is another Holy Grail product of mine. I actually put it on underneath the um, other blush I showed you, but... I just love Rare Beauty. I used the Rare Beauty Tinted Moisturizer or the foundation. 
and this and then the highlight like all the time incredible um, and then I have this milk makeup setting powder, which I like again I've never found a setting powder that I'm like this is my holy grail best thing I've ever used But I do really like this one and I have been using it a ton lately So anyways, that's a little update on what I've been loving makeup wise This blush like look this is how Like pigmented the Dior backstage blush is I've only used it for a few days and like look at that It's already all over there. So anyways been loving that also random. I've been loving the Kapari um, hydrating body milk. I love anything Kapari, like their lip products and body products, their body, like their shower gels, their lotions, everything. It's so incredible. So I've been loving this as well. So, and last but not least, I just got a new one of these. It's the daily hydration body oil. That's the body oil I've been using, whether I'm doing like lymphatic drainage or just like putting oil on my skin. Um, that's what I use for my body. It takes a while to kind of like seep in there, but it's really, really moisturizing. Okay. I finished my makeup. You can't really see. I think I'm going to go through with my Dyson Airwrap for like five minutes and try to do something with my hair. I just, I hate doing my hair so much. Like if I was a billionaire, I would have someone do my hair every single day. All right guys, I truly feel like a different person now uh, that I did my hair. It's crazy what 10 minutes styling your hair will do for your confidence. Here's the outfit. I really do want to wear this Louis bag. This has been really convenient lately, but I don't know what I don't remember what their policy is on bags. I can't remember what bag I brought recently. I went to a game. I have about an hour left of work that I need to do. My dad's gonna pick me up at six. So I need to get stuff done. I'm definitely getting a hot dog tonight. I mean, it's just gonna be a great time. Little life hack. This is what I do when I'm feeling down, a little bit off, anxious, which I've been feeling all day today. Um, I play the Taylor Swift Reputation Stadium Tour. I'm not kidding. It cures all my anxiety, puts me in a great mood, inspires me. I mean, like, it, it saves my life. I'm not kidding. I've done this for years. Eight points, three assists, four rebounds, and a block shot. 